Whoa, what's up? Today's video is on Oprah Winfrey and Russell Simmons. No honor amongst traders. Now, if you new here, what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk, break that shit down. And I know you probably thinking that sounds just like your Eddie Murphy video. And that's because it is, and that's because it fucking applies, goddammit. These traders seem to think every time they have a beef or a riff with each other, that we supposed to debate amongst each other. And that's supposed to cause a fucking rift amongst Amongst us, understand that they are coons of a fucking feather, the same bird that shit on us every day, so they can go down with that same fucking bird that we shoot at every day. You understand what I'm thinking? So don't think that BTN is about to pick which one is your favorite coon. You with Oprah or you with Russell Simmons? Because I saw a whole lot of people give Russell Simmons a goddamn pass, like he cool right now, like cause he do yoga. We supposed to think he peaceful, man, motherfuck Russell Simmons. Let's get to the first clip, goddammit, with his bitch ass. Yeah, I said it. Hey, like Massa, I've got what you white folks like to call leverage, and I'm going to be telling everybody about your Negro love, including Mary. <laughs> like anyone's going to believe. Not surprisingly, the video offended most. Now y'all heard that bullshit and look at him. Not surprisingly. That shit shouldn't surprise any goddamn body. Look at the shit he pulled out. This is a Harriet Tubman fucking porn video, goddamn it. You are witnessing a rebel network while y'all up there ready to fucking uh, take up for him. I know I don't fuck with Oprah and we'll just skim past a little crazy ass in a minute, goddammit. Because it don't take much to shoot her down. But with uh, Russell Simmons, you seem to think that we supposed to honor you or give a fuck about you. Look what the fuck you did towards our ancestor, goddammit. He couldn't have picked any fucking random slave, y'all. Why would he pick a fucking African hero? A woman who risked her goddamn life to save others. He won't pick her to be in a fucking bed with a slave master talking about she got what you white people call leverage because she got a fucking video camera during slavery. You hear this bullshit from fucking Russell Simmons and y'all won't give him a pass, huh? Oh, I'll fuck with Russell Simmons and I don't fuck with Ru uh, Oprah, but shit, man, Oprah be really tripping. Get the fuck out of here. Let's show the next clip because he ain't even take this shit serious. You think he gave a fuck about black people? You think he gave a damn about how you was outraged about it? Did you think that he would apologize really to black people specifically? Let's pay attention to his little uh, quote on quote fucking apology. Let's run through that shit. Russell Simmons also issued an apology on his website, Global Grind. Uh, he says, in the whole history of Def Comedy Jam, I've never taken down a controversial comedian. When buddies from the NAACP called and asked me to take down the Harriet Tubman video from the All Def Digital YouTube channel and apologize, I agreed. I'm a very liberal person with thick skin. My first impression of the Harriet Tubman piece was that it was about what one of the actors said in the video, that 162 years later, uh, there's still tremendous injustice. And with Harriet Tubman outwitting the slave master, I thought it was politically correct. Silly me. I can now understand why Silly so many you. people are upset. I have taken down the video. And lastly, I would never condone violence against women in any form. And for all hmm. of those that I offended, I am truly sorry. Tyra Kyle Russell Simmons also. Nah. Do y'all hear that bullshit and remember I got that video from Huffington Post. Be sure to visit them if you want to see something, goddammit. But anyway, you hear him? You hear what this lame motherfucker said? Oh, and all of my years on Def Comedy Jam, I ain't never took down a controversial comedian. In other words, that's a shot at black people. Oh, y'all think when y'all tell all the jokes about white people, you know y'all wouldn't have wanted me to take y'all down and all this, that, and the fucking third, I let black people say whatever they want. I ain't never took nothing down. But then when the NAACP coon ass call, I just took it down, you know. See how fake it? Oh, I just took it down when they call you, dig? I'm a very liberal person. Nigga, fuck liberal. See, he really think that he's a Jew. That boy think he a white Jew. He a liberal person. You a fucking black person. You think the liberals give a fuck about you? Or conservatives, goddammit? See, he don't think he one of you. That's why he don't have no problem signing all of these terrible ass rappers who lead your kids down the drain to selling this or pimping this or shaking this or shaking that, goddammit. 
God damn it, for money or chasing a bag and all of that bullshit. You heard him? In the whole history of Def Jam, I ain't never done that. I'm a liberal. You a liberal. Get your silly ass out of here. Then he said, when he done it, he said, it's just to show that 162 years later, injustices is still there. For real? What fucking sense that make, goddammit? Who the injustice against? Because really, it was Harriet Tubman who was up there recording um the slave master in the bed. Is it an injustice against him? Oh, you set me up, you nigger bitch. You set me up right there. You had a camera back there. Is it an injustice against them? Because think about it, y'all. <clears throat> As we witness black men being murdered in the fucking streets on camera and we catching it and now they trying to make it illegal to fucking record them murdering you on camera. Is that the injustice that he trying to display? See, think about it. See, we recording them motherfuckers doing the injustice, and that's what Harriet Tubman did in this fucking porn video, goddammit. That's what Harriet Tubman did in a porn video by him. She was recording the injustice, but guess what? I bet you the slave master still would have fucking got away with your fake ass. And you saw his apology? He ain't even give a fuck talking about silly me. I thought it was politically correct. But this y'all, this who y'all picking sides for? Y'all giving him a pass with his fake ass just because he death jabbing. He put people on. He gave us so many murderous cocaine selling rappers and shit. We got the fuck with a man motherfuck 50 cent. Motherfuck Russell Simmons and stupid ass Oprah. You understand me? But I'm just getting at him first because a lot of y'all gave his ass a pass. And you know us. We don't give nobody a motherfucking pass around here. He talking about some fucking silly me. Let's listen to that video again, goddammit. Some silly me. F comedy jam. I've never taken down a controversial comedian. When buddies from the NAACP called and asked me to take down the Harriet Tubman video from the All Deaf Digital YouTube channel and apologize, I agreed. I'm a very liberal person with thick skin. My first impression of the Harriet Tubman piece was that it was about what one of the actors said in the video, that 162 years later, uh, there's still tremendous injustice. And with Harriet Tubman outwitting the slave master, I thought it was politically correct. Silly me. I can now understand why Silly so many you. people are upset. I have taken down the video, and lastly, I would never condone violence against women in any form. You are witnessing a rebel network. Y'all notice who he took the time out to say he would never condone violence against women? Did y'all hear him take the, the time out to say, I would never condone slavery? I would never make a joke out of one of our African heroes being raped? Did you hear him go out of his way to apologize to you? I know you didn't, goddammit, but he think it's a joke. Oh, silly me. See, he think he a fucking Jew. Look, I thought it was politically correct. Silly me. Get your bitch ass out of here, out here doing yoga, and y'all giving this lame ass nigga a pass or something. You don't get no fucking pass around this bitch. Look at this dumb ass tweet he put out. I get it, and I respect it. The Harriet Tubman video has been removed. You get it? Well, how about you put, I understand, and I apologize, I respect y'all opinion. He said, I get it, and I respect it. Get your bitch ass out of here. You don't get it, I'll respect it. You should have came out and said, man, what the fuck I did was wrong. I had a lapse in judgment. I'm tripping like a motherfucker. I should have never done no shit like that. But you think he give a fuck? Well, guess what? The next tweet going to show you that he really, really don't give a fuck. God damn it. Let's read. You witnessing a rebel network. I, I guess I have a sensitivity chip missing, LOL, haven't been in trouble since Def Jam, sorry if people are hurt. What kind of fucking apology is that? Y'all see what the fuck he's saying? And by him saying, I guess I have a sensitivity chip missing, goddammit. He's saying like y'all being too sensitive about your African fucking hero who, who could have had a head chopped off, goddammit. Who could have had a breast chopped off. Who could have been mutilated by these motherfucking crackers, goddammit. Risked her life saving his ancestors. Look with him. I guess I got a sensitivity chip missing because I 
clowns, your African hero who, who risked a life so bitch made motherfuckers like me cocoon at a later date. Get your bitch made ass out of here, but y'all giving him a pass. Oh, 50 cents sticking up on block. Get the fuck out of here, bruh. I don't give a fuck about no Russell Simmons. Y'all think a nigga forgot about this fake motherfucker putting out a goddamn Harriet Tubman pawn? And let's continue to break down the tweet. LOL. You think an apology? Hey, y'all, if he was apologizing to women, like if women was on the march, me too and them, you think he would have put LOL inside of his apology? You think he would have said LOL inside of his apology towards women? Fuck no, and look how he continued. Haven't been in trouble since Def Jam. What you mean? You ain't in trouble right now. You just did some fucked up shit. Trouble is when you being tried and convicted, which one day I wish we will be able to do. Matter of fact, I don't wish. I know we gonna be able to do it. Get coon ass motherfuckers like you on trial for helping these people for years of fucking oppression towards black. Cause you know what you do, goddamn it. You you know what you sell to the community whack ass rappers and shit it be your a and r artists i mean your a and r team who say you know what people want to hear about violence people want to hear about guns man they don't want to hear about being faithful it be his a and r team god damn he def jam remember fuck out of here but y'all giving him a goddamn pass because he going up against oprah and understand one thing about old oprah I don't give one fuck about Oprah and y'all could go down the archive to understand that, goddammit. Y'all know this. She's an old school coon, just like uh, Russell Simmons. See, they just simply at odds right now, but I'll be damned if they put us at odds because guess what? They'll make They'll make up one day, goddammit, and they'll continue flying and deceiving us while getting paid. A couple years later, y'all gonna hear, Russell and Oprah makes up and apologize and continue to put out bad images of black people. They're all good now, and what the fuck we gonna be doing after you done... Uh, argue with your wife or argue with your best friend. You no, know what, man? Oprah fucking wrong. You know, you probably done fell out with your best friend and shit behind arguing behind if Oprah right, goddamn it, or if Russell Simmons old lame ass right. And I don't give a fuck about her. You know, yeah, she is. This the same motherfucker who dug up Michael Jackson. Them people told her coon ass to dig up Michael Jackson and clown him and put him on trial, goddammit, and she done it. So is y'all fucking surprised here? Goddammit, we know who Oprah is. Look, this when she was fucking cooning. This was on her rise, goddammit, next to Richard Sher. Look, with the afro and shit. You think you'll see her with an afro today? Hell no. Oprah shoot her goddamn self before she do some shit like that. And then what happened? After she done all of her lacooning and shit, talking about how fucked up her life was. I used to have to wear a potato sack and shit. You know, yeah, she really said that. So you understand why the fuck she cooning, you did. Never again. Just like uh, what her name is? Uh, Liney Love. He won't go back to being poor. Remember what she said? Kevin don't won't go back to being poor. So Kevin got to keep working. That's how them coons be thinking. So Oprah was like, I ain't wearing no potato sack again. And my grandma used to beat me and all of that. And my daddy sexually harassed me and all of that. Bitch ass. She fake as a motherfucker. Cause when she was with her daddy, guess what she was, y'all? A fucking honor roll student when she was with that man. Man, you bullshitting. And she didn't say her daddy put hands on her. So if you go accuse somebody be specific all you all you little uh coon women you always like to come out and say a family member touch me be specific god damn it we want to know because you're always just trying to drag some fucking body who was touching your whack ass god damn it because uh judging from the uh school records you was doing your thing god damn it but that's neither here nor there and after all of them years of cooning all them years she had to fight and all of that bullshit guess what happened a motherfucking made man. Look, Oprah throwing up the 666 and the all CNI. I know some of you idiots probably think, oh, that's a blood sign. Oh, that's the sign Chris Paul be throwing up. You dummy. That's an all CNI and 666. You fucking dumbass idiot. God damn it. You need to pay attention to BT and the fucking propaganda network so you can understand what's really going on on this motherfucking planet. But you see, we knew Oprah for a long ass time. So we don't fucking surprise me that she'll get up out this chair from that garden and say, you know what? I'm about to stab this stupid motherfucker Russell right in the back, goddammit. Master and them say it's time and I'm gonna fucking do it. That's what she did, y'all. 
that's what the fuck she did. Fuck wrong with y'all. If this this the same woman who will dig Michael Jackson up out the grave. You done sat next to Michael Jackson in his house, goddammit, and you gonna do some shit like that behind three white boys who say, you know what, he did it. And I saw the video, she was like, you know the backlash you're gonna get from this, and I'm gonna get a backlash too, but you know what, this happens in every family. You know what, I'm tired of y'all acting like this happened in every black family. I'm really fucking tired of it because it don't happen in every black family. It didn't happen in mine. I know other people who family didn't happen in too as fucking well. Stop acting like in every black family, somebody being touched. Now, does it happen? Yes, but not at a higher or lower rate. Well, probably at a lower rate than the motherfucking pedophiles of the other race who be raping their goddamn daughters. Now, how often do that happen in a black community? Do you see fathers raping daughters like that no but how often it happened in the other communities what that fool name is the one who be grooming and breeding fucking uh women he was married to the girl um i forgot look little creepy motherfucker with the glasses somebody know who i'm talking about your boy he was married to this celebrity woman and he end up uh marrying the daughter that they adopted together what kind of weirdo shit is that you see you see who community that happened in Stupid ass, but she out here digging niggas up from the grave to say Michael Jackson was touching these three white boys. And they, they just decided to wait till they was 40 and 36 after he was dead to say something. Get the fuck out of here, bruh. That's her job, though, y'all. But y'all know me. The main reason I made this fucking video is because too many of y'all gave this fool, uh, what his name is, Russell fucking Simmons, a pass, goddammit. You must have, you must have some type of short-term memory. Look what that, look what he said. Ooh, Harriet, drop it like it's hot cold. Now he up in there, he's supposed to be recording shit for the proof he turned on by. Oh, Harriet gonna drop it like it's hot coal. And first of all, Harriet was not an unfit woman, goddammit. Harriet was fit. Do you see who portraying him? Because uh, only a fucking mammy would do some shit like that. He could have got Lonnie Love to play that part. She would have uh, happily been the mammy, goddammit. You see that shit? And this what Russell Simmons put out, nigga. And look at the, uh, the fucking slave man. And shit. Oh, you don't have a up on me. You don't have the the upper hand on me. No one's ever gonna believe you and shit. And she said, Oh, I'm recording it. See, that's the injustice he talking about. That black still recording the injustice and getting white men caught up. Is that what you're saying? With your fake ass. Let's listen to his whack ass fucking apology another time. Talking about the fucking injustice still exists. Uh, he says, in the whole Let history get of to it with your comedy cool jam, man. I've never taken down a controversial comedian. When buddies from the I NAACP called you and down. asked me to take down the Harriet Tubman video from the all-deaf digital YouTube channel and apologize, I agreed. I'm a very liberal person with thick skin. My first impression of the Harriet Tubman piece was that it was about what one of the actors said in the video, that 162 years later, uh, there's still tremendous injustice. And with Harriet Tubman outwitting the slave master, I thought it was politically correct. Silly me. Silly I can now me. understand why Silly so many you. people are upset. I have taken down the video, and lastly, I would never condone violence against women in any form. And for all of those, mm, fuck all of that. Look, and lastly, he wouldn't condone no shit against women. Please don't fuck with me. Me too. That's what that means. He didn't say lastly. I would never disrespect the motherfucking ancestor who went out of her way to save people with the last name Simmons and Johnson and Williams and all of that bullshit. He ain't saying lastly, y'all. My bad to the whole African American or African community. God damn it for this <coughs> my bad y'all for this bullshit that I allowed to come out on one of my platforms did he go out of his way and say that fuck no god damn it but y'all giving him a pass because he made run DMC and them be like uh make that song with Arrow Smith and all of that oh he got us in the face of white people god damn and all of that bullshit like he's some type of legend you ain't no fucking legend you're a coon legend you know I was one of the first black people who allowed other black people to coon on my record label get the fuck out of here the fuck out of here bro you see so y'all understand this is why I spoke on this bullshit you do 
I had to because y'all motherfuckers was giving them a pass. Motherfuckers was out here, man. 50 Cent and Russell right, man. She keep on attacking black men and black men. Don't go at it from that angle. Understand that both of them fucking friends and they help the same fucking people deceive us every day. I don't give one fuck about Russell Simmons, old coon ass who disrespected a motherfucking legend, a queen in our ancestry. And I don't give a fuck about Oprah who will dig up motherfucking Michael Jackson and whoever the people tell her ass to dig up next. You did this BTN, goddamn it. Once again, y'all holler at me.